top rated. So many of you have gotten home pieces from Tim Maloney and the Glendara Art and loved it so much that you went on QVC.com and you gave it a rave review. And so we are so happy that you did that. We'll be reading some of those to you in a moment and we'll be talking to Tim on the phone. We have gotten more just back in, including a new option called Day's End. We have sold over 10,000 pieces from Tim. And you know what? When you talk about customer top rated, 89 out of the 94 reviews on QVC.com are five stars. Almost every single review is five stars. These are limited edition. There's only 2,000 per print. You'll get a certificate of authenticity and they measure 14 inches by 12 inches. Here are your choices. Actually, Tim, are you there? Hello, Terry. Hello, Happy Tim. St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day to you. I hear you're having a lovely sunny day. <laughs> well, not quite, but no? we're, we're, we're lovely and comfortable looking out at, 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 the, at, at the day. Oh, good. Well, speaking of, you get your inspiration from everywhere in Ireland. All of these pieces are so gorgeous. As I take us through our choices, would you mind just telling me a little bit behind each one? Okay, Terry. Okay, so first off, we're seeing the, how do I say this one? Bunratty Castle? Oh, Bunratty Castle. Yes. Yes, uh, Bunratty Castle. Uh, it, it's the location very near my home in the west of Ireland. And uh, it's a medieval castle. Uh, lots of, thousands of visitors come there every year, especially American visitors. And it's very famous for, it has medieval style banquets regularly. And they're always great fun. You have uh, venison, pork and mead and other medieval style foods on the menu. And often uh, a guest is consigned to the dungeon. Oh. And the only way to free oneself is to either sing or dance or play, but that's <laughs> no problem here in Ireland. <laughs> I love that. So Rashi, this next one. Rashi Castle, you have there. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, yes, um, Terry. Yes. What's the next one? The next one is Homeward Bound. Homeward Bound. Um, well, that was inspired. Uh, I grew up in Ireland in the 1950s and I encountered and took part in all the, the old traditions like drying, uh, cutting and drying and bringing home the turf. And this was inspired by that. The, in this scene, the farmer is uh, bringing, at the end of the evening, he's heading home after a long day's work. Um, and it's late evening and he can see from a distance that his cottage with its welcoming smoke rising from the chimney. Mm. And it's a lovely scene. Beautiful, I love that. Okay, next to that is Old Times. Well, uh, yes, I, I particularly like that one myself. Uh, I like to record times past, and I, sometimes I romanticize, and I just remember some of the wonderful characters I have encountered while growing up. And these characters now, they were always very knowledgeable, and they could trace family history. They could tell wonderful stories handed down from generation to generation, but above all, you know, they had time for a chat, and this image, it reminds me to slow down and have time for others. Oh, that's beautiful. More important now than ever. Next up is exactly. the Cliffs of Mohair. Or, I'm probably saying that wrong. <laughs> you know, no, well, not, not bad. The Cliffs of Moher. Moher. Uh, they're situated uh, in, in the Burn in County Clare, where I live. Uh, just an hour's drive from, from where I live. And uh, they're very spectacular cliffs. They're the most outstanding coastal feature, I suppose, not only in Ireland, but also in Europe. And mm. two million visitors come there every year to see this wonderful feature. And I feel I'm very lucky to be within an hour's drive of this. And to stand oh. and view them, is, it's a breathtaking experience. Gorgeous. Okay, next to that, Quiet Man Bliss. Quiet Man Bliss. Well, this painting uh, was inspired by the much-loved John Ford film, The Quiet Man, uh. which was made in 1952. Uh, it tells the story of emigration 
and coming home to your roots. Mm. Uh, this, you could say this is a story that belongs to all families that have experienced the heartache of seeing a loved one leave Ireland for a better world, uh, life in the new world. It's a story, though, with a, a happy ending in the film as Sean Thornton, played by John Wayne, he returns to his mother's cottage and sets about lovingly restoring it, planting lovely red roses, walls whitewashed and the half door painted green. And with the expert help of a matchmaker, Micheline, he marries Mary Kate Danner, played by Maureen O'Hara, and he carries her over the threshold to start another generation of Thorntons. Beautiful. Okay, we have about a minute and a half left for the next four. So the next one is Coleman Fisherman. Connemara Fisherman. Well, I, oh. I'll be very brief in this one. Uh, it, it, all I can say is the scene that I painted here of Connemara, uh, it's the same, it's the same now as it was on hundreds of years ago. And the picture, I think it exudes a sense of calm and tranquility. And I suppose in these times of constant change, it's just refreshing to know that something remains the same. And I find it very calming. Beautiful. And next to that is Day's End. Day's End. Well, this one depicts uh, a curragh. And that was a traditional rowing boat uh, made of wooden slats. The slats were covered with canvas and layers of tar, or I think pitch, you'd call it. And this popular boat was capable of carrying large loads. And since it was so light, at the day's end, it was carried up the beach and placed upside down for protection. So it was a sort of an unusual scene mm. uh, it, it coming up the beach every evening. The colors are beautiful. That's the brand new one. We have less than 150 to go around. Next is Let It Snow. Oh, last well, call on snow. Let It Snow. Uh, let It Snow. Uh, well, uh, it's, it's the first uh, Let It Snow. Uh, it really doesn't snow very often in Ireland. <laughs> but when it does, the, the animals have to be brought in from the sheds and fed. And that's what this farmer is doing. And despite the fact that it is a winter scene, there is a warm glow from the painting. Mm. And then finally, Welcome Home, Quiet Man. Well, uh, I, much the same as the, as the Quiet Man Bliss. It was inspired by the, the film of The Quiet Man. And in this scene, uh, Sean Thornton, after, return, or after returning to Ireland, he gets the first glimpse of his gran grandmother's cottage. And it is really a special time mm. for him as he comes over the bridge and gets his first glimpse of the ancestral home. Tim, these are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for explaining the meaning behind each one. And um, customer top rated almost all five star reviews. Can't get better than that. So have a wonderful day and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Terry. Thank all right, you very much. don't wait on that brand new day's end. Fewer than 100 to go around. Let it snow, sold out. Bunrati Castle, 200 left. You gotta get the castle. I have a feeling so many of you collect these best easy payment plan right now. So $9.38 to get home a couple if you'd like to do that. All right, coming up with Pat in just a little bit. Sterling silver again from Fado is the Salmon of Knowledge necklace. Now, this one is going to match our today's special value that was